Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just decided to do this recording because honestly I saw Lord Knight's video and I was like, oh, let me do the same thing as him but with other stuff that he hasn't covered yet. So, first things first, make sure all your buttons are set. Button settings. So now it doesn't matter how you set your buttons, just set whatever is important to you or however you feel comfortable. So that's your A button. That's your B button, that's your C button, that's your shield button. Now, if you need to have all of these macros set, set them however you want. I personally do not use the A plus B because I can use it on my stick with the A plus B. A plus D I have set to my right trigger, which is underneath my C button. Uh, B, C as your moon drive, you can set that to a button if you have problems, you know, pressing B plus C in neutral. Same thing with heat, A plus, A plus B plus C and then A, B, C, Ds for your last start. And then training mode, uh, your restart would be whatever button you want to set to restart, and then your two dummy recording buttons. Now, the other important thing to do, like let's say you're in training mode and you're like, all right, let me figure out, let me uh, set everything for first. So what you should do is restore all defaults. So right now I should have everything Set as if I just turned the game off for the first time, I haven't recorded anything, all my meters should be set to full. Let's see, there it goes, look. It just like zoomed all the way up, that's pretty nice. Uh, the next thing you want to have is... Is... There you go. Your damage display and your input history. Well, all, honestly, your input lag should be set to zero because if you're playing on PC. I forget what the difference is in um, the delay, the delay in the games are for PC and PS4, but you should leave it at zero for now, just just so that you have a normal feel for it. Damage display is good, so you know, like, okay, my damp, my combo does does this much damage, and the combo starts to deteriorate from here and here. Input history display, so that way when you're mashing, you're like, wait, why didn't I get that fireball? And you're like, oh, that's why I didn't get that fireball. Also remember too, when you're in training mode, you have things like quick select characters, so... You can just immediately switch to one of these characters, and you hit the A button, it'll ask you to load quick select, and it'll immediately go to that character. Same thing with stage, you can just like... Hold on, what's a good stage? I'm gonna, I'm gonna press stage, quick select. Like how fast that happened, isn't that crazy? Look how nice that is. I can just go back and forth between stages. So nice. Okay, next thing. You have character settings. So, it's specifically only for Shiki, Noel, and Vlov. For Shiki, it's whenever he does his art drive, he has access to his Nanaya moves. So if you want them all in all the time, keep this on. For Noel, black keys. If you want unlimited black keys to practice your combos and you don't have to keep resetting, just put put it to unlimited. Vlov. Now, when Vlov loses a round, he changes from the element that he currently is. So I believe at round start, he's on fire, and when he loses, he's on ice. So if you want to practice your fire confirms, here you go. If you want to practice your ice confirms, here you go. And make sure to hit, click apply changes before you exit out. Next thing. Next thing that's pretty important. When you are practicing in training mode, for like, let's say block strings or... Yeah, let's just say block strings. You can put it to all guard, right? All guard, guard timing, random. So this would be like... See? Like, I did that string to be like, okay, what do I do in this block string if it hits? Let me just go straight into auto combo. Cool. Turn that off. Turn that off. Another thing is throw tech. So if you ever want to do, test something with throws in them... Oops. Gotta recover. Yeah, see? So if you want to uh, practice a situation after throw tech, you can do that. Counter hit. Practicing counter hit confirms, obviously. Now, if you want to practice how to beat shield and shield follow-ups, this is what you would do. Standing, all guard, and you see how the shield turned on? 
There you go. Turn shield on. And you can pick through the shield counters. So you can always have the shield counter launcher, the shield vanish, the shield thrust, have it random, or everything's random. So they might not even shield. They could just do nothing. So I have it set to all random. So see, nothing. But committed to something. Nothing. Nothing again. Nothing again. Nothing again. Oh, no, that's the shield vanish. So if you're trying to practice countermeasures to shielding, like if you want to learn what the timing to react to shields are, you can do that. So in these examples, I'm just trying to go through if I can react to any of these. And honestly, the hardest thing to react to is the B plus C shield thrush. But that also depends on how much moon meter you have up here. So if you want a situation where they have no moon meter, you would just have to have the dummy set to always do B plus C. Oops. And now she has none left. So if she tries to do the B plus C shield counter, she'll just get the finish. But yeah, so that's that's the way you can use training mode to practice, you know, the RPS in your shield counters. <clears throat> um, dummy playback. This is something that's been in for uni, honestly, but they also set it to a button. So remember those buttons you said earlier? All the way down here, button settings. Dummy recording, dummy playback. You can actually make it so that when you hold a button, it automatically records so you don't have to go back to the menu. Which button was this now? There we go. So instead of going all the way to here to record your dummy, you can just do it from here. You can do it from here. Excuse me. So you see how it says controlling dummy? So right now I'm controlling my dummy. But it's not recording. So if I want to record, I will hold the button that lets me record. You see that bar there? Oop, I'm now recording. So now if I hit the button to stop recording, I have control of my character back. And then if I hit the replay button, Missouri's so moving on her own. But now, if you want slots, you actually have to come in here and manually change the slots yourself. That is something that some people might say, why didn't they just do it like that? But honestly, being able to do it from a button is pretty good. And then if you want uh, other actions to be taken during the recording, so what you could do is you can start dummy recording. I just have Hisui doing whatever. And when you hit start, you go back, it, it saves your playback. So now, here you have dummy playback, so it's either repeated intervals, which means as soon as you hit, as soon as you go back to your standard default position or you hit restart, the dummy will automatic, automatically play. If you want it to be a reversal action, you set it to reversal, the dummy won't do anything until you hit it or you make it shield. I still have shield on, so let's turn that off. Shield is off. All guard. So when I make her block something, she'll go forward. If I throw her, she should do it as soon as she gets up. Yep. So that way you can practice certain things you can't do with, let's say, a moon drive and into an action. And then guarding or hit. This one will be... Yeah, you see how it immediately starts up as soon as she gets thrown? So it acts as if she got hit, it'll go. That's how you would use that to work in like a frame trap situation or something. Uh, dummy playback time display, that's if you're unsure. Huh? I turned it off? Oh, I turned off the display. Like let's say you're just like showing how clean the background looks for somebody, that's what you would turn this off for. Random dummy playback, it goes through all these slots. So if you have five slots set up and you knock the dummy down, you have the dummy do five different things when it gets up.
And obviously the other things you have here are life gauge, on or off if you're trying to do setups to see how many times you need to hit someone to win a round. Max life, turn life on and off. Circuit gauge, auto increase, decrease. In order to set it so that way you have actual meter, you need to set it to default. So right now if I, ref if I go back and refresh, meter's at zero. So if I want to set it to a certain value, like let's say 110 and 130, if you look down there, Hisui has 130 meter, Ake has 110 meter. Moon icon, I have not found a way to make it so that the moon icon is always at a value that you want. It, that's probably something they might have to do later down the line, but right now if you use your moon, your moon skills, you would obviously get them back a lot quicker. See? This normally takes up like a fourth, but because I have it to set to immediately fast recover, it's like I didn't use it. Now fast recovery at 50%, you use it, you wait a little bit, and it'll come back. You saw how it took a little bit for it to come back? When you hit 50%, it'll always come back. So you can make it, you can make combos in certain situations where it only takes 50%. Awaken player, awaken means four bars, as you see down there. So you can do stuff for like blood heat situations or last arc combos. Um, I believe that's it for a training mode, honestly. Everything else is other very specific things that you would want to look into, but if you're wondering how do I use training mode to its like minimum ability, this should help you. And if you want more about training mode, there's other people who should be making videos about it, hopefully, but if not, I'll also do my best to help later. Okay, everyone, um, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.